Today I am at Salvation Army Thrift Store and it was a last minute decision to come thrift store shopping here. I tried to do two videos the other day and I could not find one single thing. I went to two value villages and there was absolutely nothing. The shelves were very bare. It looked like they were making some changes. So I'm hoping that I can find something at the Salvation Army. It's dark out and it's really quiet here, so it'll be nice and not busy. So I'm gonna go in and see what I can find. So I'm starting in the vases, and I see a couple of beautiful purple vases. They kind of have an empoli look to them. I don't know if they are, but they're only $2 each. Really pretty purple. I don't know. I have a lot of these little vases already listed in my shop, so I think I'm gonna leave them today. But they are really pretty. This one is encased. It's got the white on the inside. $1.99 as well. I don't know. I don't know who makes that. I don't think that lid goes with that piece. That's just a cheaper piece of glass. Kind of looks like Costa Boda. Over 24% lead crystal. Might be a Costa Boda. I don't know. I've got a lot of single candle holders as well. I really don't need any more of those. a new cart. I see a piece of art glass. It's got some markings on the bottom. It says Canada. I don't know what the... Oh, Alta glass made in Canada. $4.99. Should make sure it's in good condition. That's a good piece of glass. Definitely vintage. if there's anything else up here. I don't see anything here I gotta have. Lots of toiletries and garbage bags. Why are they selling a box of garbage bags for $3.99? That's pretty cheap. It's not the size I need though. Kitchen catchers. Hmm. Just spotted these ceramic pieces. They are made in Japan. Well, Asian figurines. A dollar ninety-nine. I don't see any chips or cracks, so put these in my cart. Madonna and Child. The ceramic doesn't look really well done. Wood carving. Some interesting sculpture. 
Pier one. Hmm. I wonder if that's vintage. I think I'm gonna put it in my cart and I'm gonna look it up and see. That is modern. Yeah, it's definitely modern. White side gift shop. Oh, those are oil lamps. That's a newer piece. It's a pretty little vase. No markings on it. It's only a dollar ninety-nine. This is interesting. IKEA. I wonder if that's vintage IKEA. I'm gonna look it up and see. It's kind of interesting shape. found a piece of brass it's got a peacock on it lots of patina but I could probably get that clean with some brass cleaner get it shined up $3.99 if I can't sell it I will use it for under one of my plants not too much over in this section Vivian by Max Sura. Never heard of that. Twenty dollars. That was twenty dollars. Maybe for the set. That's a cute little set. Modern. It's a cute little Japan teapot. Single teapot. It's pretty tiny. Some dinnerware. Hmm. I'm finding the thrift stores are a little bare after Christmas. It's almost better to wait till maybe the end of January when people start clearing out their closets and cupboards and maybe thinking about home renovations and whatnot. It's a nice bottle. It's got some green on it. This is flash though. It's definitely older with this stopper. The flashing is coming off. This one is not as old because the stopper is plastic. That's a nice picture. an interesting piece with the applied handle and base. $7.99. I'm going to think about that piece. Some coffee cups and tea cups.
Oh, these are cute. Got a little ladybug on them. $1.99 for two. They don't look like they have a lot of age though. I don't think they're that old. Super sweet. Fine Bone China, Crown Trent. Some nice glasses. There's only two of them here. That's super cute. The country music is really loud in here tonight. <laughs> it's a bunch of vintage prints. $1.99 each. Some chalkware. These almost look like maybe Art Nouveau or Art Deco era. Art Nouveau, I would say, not Art Deco. Look like they've got a lot of age. I like the florals. So I think I'm gonna grab these two for $1.99 each. This is Sirocco wood. This one's got a big crack on it though. So I'm gonna grab these two prints. Gonna have a look in their locked case and see what they got in here. Wow, that's a nice big glass Christmas decoration. pattern. Italy, $49.99. That is huge. Well, I wonder who makes this piece. $44.99. I don't think it's Le Creuset. No, I don't believe so. So I couldn't find any information on this piece. So I am going to grab it. It's only $2.99. It does look like it has some age, so we'll see. And I also couldn't find anything on this piece either. And it looks like it's got age to me as well. And it's only $3.99, so... I will take a chance with those two items. I also found a cute little J. Crew sweater for $3.99 for myself. I just spotted this little Ikebana and I've sold three of these fairly recently. I think this one is made in BC. Yeah, I had two of these they sold and I just sold my last Ikebana few days ago so I'm gonna grab this one for $2.99 and I think that is all I'm gonna find in here today so I'm gonna check out and I will be doing a haul in just a few seconds so this is everything that I picked up from the Salvation Army and I'll start with these two pictures I thought they were prints but they are not actually prints they're cutouts from a old magazine and when I was inspecting them, one of them has some writing on the back and one of them has a picture of a lady shampooing her hair. So there's the lady shampooing her hair. And then this one has some writing. I think it's a description of the shampoo. 
So I'm not going to list these in my Etsy shop because they're not actually prints, but I am going to hang them in my bedroom next to my dressing table. I have an antique dressing table in my bedroom and I think these would look perfect. I'm gonna use these 3M Command Velcro strips. Because these are light pictures, the Velcro strips will work really well for them. So I'll attach these strips to the wall and the back of the print and then hang them up. I will insert a picture if I have time to do this before I get this video up. If not, I'm going to do a, a short and you can see how I, how I do it and how it looks. And I grabbed this brass bowl. If you saw in the video, it was completely covered in patina. You could barely see the peacock. So I used some brass cleaner and scrubbed it up and put a lot of elbow grease into it. I may have to do it one more time, but I did get most of the patina off and it's got a beautiful peacock in the center with the pierced design and etched floral design, really beautiful bowl. I paid $3.99 for it, and I will list it in my Etsy shop for $42. This piece, I found one listed online. It was listed on eBay. When I clicked on the link for the listing, it disappeared. <laughs> so the information that I was able to find is this is late 90s sculptural piece. It is made for Pier 1. It was $2.99 and I'm still not sure what I'm going to list this for. I do want to do a little bit more research, see if I can find one like this listed online, but I would say that it's worth at least $48 or more. So I'm going to do a little bit more research before I list it but it is definitely a vintage Pier 1 piece, very unique sculpture. And this piece is Alta Glass. It was made in Medicine Hat, Canada. It was $4.99. Really beautiful turquoise blue penguin in excellent condition. I love how the penguin's arms are those arms or wings? They don't fly, so I think they're arms. One is turned forward and one is turned back. Kind of almost looks like the penguin is doing a little dance there. Really nice piece of glass, really nice quality piece. And I will list this in my Etsy shop for $38. These two, Japanese figurines were $1.99 each. They have the number and the stamp on the bottom. Really nice condition with no chips or cracks, but there is some paint wear on one side of both figurines. A little bit of paint wear on the gold as well. So I have a red that is, I'm pretty sure, exactly the same as this red. I would call it Chinese red or fire engine red. So I'm thinking of possibly touching this up with that red, but I don't know for sure if I want to attempt that or not. Let me know in the comments, do you think I should touch these pieces up or should I sell them as they are? But I'm not going to list them right away. I'm going to wait and see what you all think, if I should touch them up or if I should list them as they are. Of course, if I touch them up, I will disclose that they have been touched up. So I don't know what I'm going to list these for. I haven't done any research on them, but I would say they're worth at least, 
I would say $25 or more for this set, probably closer to 30 to 32. And this is an Ikebana. And I've sold, I think about six or eight Ikebanas in my shop. So I pick them up whenever I find a nice, unique, handcrafted Ikebana. This one was handmade in Salt Springs Island, BC. I've sold two of these Ikebanas made in Salt Spring Islands. This one was $2.99. This one has a really nice glossy black finish. It's kind of almost a gold or a mustard yellow and silvery blue tone through it. Really pretty. The other two I sold were blue. But I really like this black one and I like the shape of it. Very Japandi style. So I will list this one for $48 in my Etsy shop. And this deer is a little bit out of my wheelhouse, a little bit more of a modern piece, but I thought it was unique, had a very Swedish design to it. And it is in fact designed by Monica Mulder for Ikea. And it was inspired by pixels. And she created this deer by arranging 15 millimeter blocks out of cast aluminum. So it's a, a very unique piece, very modern in style. I saw about six of these listed on Etsy. Most of them were listed from France and Netherlands. There was one listed in Canada and they were listed for about $50 without shipping, over $100 with shipping included. So I'm going to list this deer for $48 plus shipping. And that was everything that I purchased for resale. I also got this sweater for myself. It was $3.99. It is J. Crew, and it is a blend of acrylic, alpaca, and merino wool. It's a really nice soft sweater. And of course it says dry clean only. <laughs> so I'll, I'll probably hand wash it. But it's just a really nice little light, soft red sweater. And I will wear that probably in the spring. So that is everything that I got from the Salvation Army and my total was $25. And that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.